They've got the beat. Some students in New York really sing their hearts out. That's because they are in the school chorus at Public School 22. These students from Staten Island had a concert at the White House. They sang at a Hollywood Awards show. Audiences have clapped and cheered them on. These kids are always asked to return. How does it feel to sing on stage? I get nervous singing for a big audience, Brianna Crispino recalls. But when I see the joy on their faces, I get excited. Caption Brianna Crispino, Public School 22 chorus member. Sounds good. The PS 22 chorus is divided into two groups. The sopranos sing high notes. The altos sing lower sounds. Instruments like drums sometimes keep the beat. It's important to keep the rhythm so they make the right sounds together. Most adult choruses have four groups of voices. Here's a look at the number of each type of voice in one adult chorus from Pennsylvania. Voices in a Chorus Graph. Caption Greg Brainberg, Public School 22 Chorus Teacher, plays piano to accompany the chorus. Musical expression. Being part of the chorus is hard work. The chorus members won't disagree. They practice for three hours each week. Greg Brainberg, their teacher, encourages the chorus to use movements. They move their hands to show how the songs make them feel. They have their own movements because nobody feels music the same way. He explains, "The chorus members understand that singing in a chorus is a big job. We just want to give it our best," one student says.